Okay, first things first, we're gonna create an event. So, I know you know how to do this, but you right click, new event. I'm calling mine time lapse. Boom, there it is. Okay, now we're gonna create a project. Again, I know you know how to do this. I'm just going over it all. New project, time lapse, awesome. And make sure the event is the event you want. Click okay. Okay, next step is to import all the photos uh, and get them into Final Cut. Okay, now all the photos are in Final Cut. So we're just gonna go to the top and we're gonna click on the first one and what we're gonna do is select the entire thing. So I'm gonna go and just pull it over till it's all covered and then we're gonna click Command A and that is select all. And then what we're gonna do is drag them into the project timeline. Now it's gonna ask you what settings you want. So for us, we want the 1080 and 23.98 frames per second and then we just click OK. Great, now the next part is extremely important. You wanna go to the inspector, which is on the right hand side and click that to open it. And then you wanna go to spatial conform. You can see right now that it's at fit. We wanna switch that to fill. And then you're gonna see it's gonna pop into the full screen, perfect. And we drag it over, it's all working. And then we wanna right click that and do change duration and click one and that's gonna give it one frame for every single photo. And then we click enter, you'll see it all shrink down, and there we have it. Now to get it to fill the bottom, you wanna click Shift Z, and that's gonna make the entire timeline fit your screen. And there you have 240 photos all at one frame, giving you 10 seconds of footage uh, in a time-lapse format. Okay, so now we're going to create a compound clip. So highlight everything, right click, and click new compound clip. And what that does is takes every single photo and puts it all into one video format. So as you can see, it's gonna ask for a name, just click okay, and there you have it. It's all in one editable clip. So we don't have to, when we do coloring or whatever, we don't have to do each individual clip. We can edit it all under this. Um, and we can even export it from this, and it's a lot easier um, than dealing with 240 clips. You just deal with the one compound clip. So there you have it. Uh, now you can color it and do whatever and export it in whatever format you want. And that's all you have to do for a time-lapse clip.